All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and, and get a skin on her. So we want it fairly uniform is probably this human cheek. The wrinkles on it are way too large, right? We wanna go ahead and bump that repetition, right? And, uh, and this one, just cause I know she's got a darker complexion. Okay, so that's that's a pretty decent start. So if we look back at um, these facial regions, this is you know kind of yellowish here on the brow uh, because there's bone, right? You've got red here around the cheeks because um, you know you've got blood vessels here. Same right here in the tip of the nose. Here again, it's a little bit more bone, and here you've got some fat, right, right around the the eyelids as well as well. I mean, here it's not always just fat, some of the bones or whatever down here too. Obviously it's not blue right here. It's just blue-ish, right? We can start kind of with just like right here, right? This is very nice and simple and then we'll kind of dial it as, as we go along. So let's go ahead and let's add that yellow color. So what what we'll do is we'll go ahead and under layers, we'll add one more layer, a paint layer. And let's go ahead and grab the brush. We will here, we're only painting base color. So we're not painting any of the other channels. And then we're gonna go here to lean, kind of yellowish, right? Let's also go ahead and, and turn on mirror. This way it kind of sets it up to give us less work, but also just make it a little more easier to manage. It doesn't have to be perfect here as far as the mirror. Really what we're trying to get is to just kind of lessen some of our work so that we're not kind of just hammering this on top. We're just gonna reduce the stroke opacity and we're gonna build up, right? And we kind of have it all throughout the, the, the cranium. Kind of this yellowish color, right? Probably also helps for us to use a, uh, an alpha. So let's go ahead and scan down to brushes and we'll grab maybe something kind of powdery like dirt. And then we can come in and kind of give it a little bit of blur. We'll just add a filter and then we'll type in blur. Okay. And then let's go ahead and lower opacity here, right? Okay, so there's some of that kind of starting to blend. Let's take a look at this again. So now here around the facial region, we've got reddish, right? So. <clears throat> I'm going to grab uh, maybe concrete is what it's called. Yeah, it's good. So this one comes in um, kind of almost powdery, right? Like almost like a, like a makeup brush, I guess. So we can come in where we're a little more red. So something a little more saturated. And again, just kind of grabbing that overall region. It also doesn't show it, I think, in the chart, but uh, typically you want to get some red in the ears as well. And then we'll get some bluish right around the mouth area. Right, B. And then from there, let's go ahead and let's rotate the light a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's start to blend. So let's uh, use the eyedropper and grab this color right here. I can start to blend that out. Again, grab maybe over here. 
and start to transition this as well. This is a little too blue, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll grab the eraser, kind of just reduce this. Switch back over to the brush. Let's just grab this color and just kind of use that to blend coming down. Let's go ahead and take a look at our chart again, right? So right here, you see we've got a little bit of orangish right under our eyelid. We've got a little bit of that bluish purple again. I think I'm gonna lean this a little bit more towards that bluish purple. Let's go ahead and reduce the blur also. Yeah, we can we can tweak that as we as we get further along. But right now, let's go ahead and just kind of do some manual blending right there. Let's grab some of the nose. Let's crank this up a little bit. Let's redden the nose. So let's go ahead and, and add some color to the lips. Get rid of that uh, color that's probably way too blue right there. And then here, let's go ahead and grab some of this. Let's enhance the brush a little bit. Kind of blend some of that out a little bit more. And then here, Let's just soften the brush and lighten this, right? That blue there is good, but um, we don't want it to be too strong, right? Same with the yellow here. Let's go ahead and maybe sample right here around this blend and just reduce some of this. All right, seems pretty good. Let's extend that blur a little bit. Right, and now we've got some, some variations there. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can add some more here. So here's a little bit of orange, right? Kind of here where this, this bone is. Let's go ahead and grab this color. Right, kind of just dabble it right there a little bit. Let's go ahead and maybe sample right here to grab some of that color right, to blend it down. Again, let's grab a little further towards the red, kind of blend some of that out. Okay, and then let's grab the blur again. Let's crank it a bit more. And then maybe after this, let's add another filter maybe where we sharpen just a little. Okay.